Hey guys, what's up? It's Big Ark here. Today I'm back on my priest and today I'm going to be showing you a gold making guide. Um, this is what I've done so far to make about 52,000 gold in just probably about uh, three days worth of work, probably about an hour each time. Um, so firstly, what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, herbalism, mainly just to gather the herbs because that's basically what we're going to be farming to get the gold today. And you will also need uh, alchemy. It doesn't have to be 760 like mine or close to it. You just need to uh, get Legion Master, which can start at level 1, and you just gotta learn to make the Ancient Healing Potion. Um, you'll eventually find out recipes and stuff to make it, like, multiple potion potions so they can proc and stuff like that. And it's good. So, basically, what I do to get all my gold is, right now, uh, herbs are going very fast. So, I thought of finding probably the easiest way that I could farm them uh and doing a little bit of work so uh i started with uh dream leaf so the way that i drew that i farmed dream leaf was uh in valshara by dark heart thicket there's um like this kind of uh like uh the portal there there's the city where it's like all the the trents and like all these uh guardians but when you kill them you can um you can gather their herbs from them so they treat them like a node um, and dream leaf is very plentiful along uh, Valshara uh, before I found this place though I was originally going around um, starting at Lorithil I'd make my way here uh, all the way to Andu Tala and then I would just cut right across to Temple of Alun uh, go up just to this kind of area here and then I would just kind of go just touch black or cold and then make my way back to Lorithil. But this place right here uh, is perfect. There's like uh, a lot of mobs. Uh, if there's other people competing with you, you can just server hop using add ons. But a lot of mobs there are really good. And the regular nodes, like the regular herbs that you can skin and like, or not skin, sorry, but you can pick up uh, with herbs, you can get these mobs that spawn. And when you kill them, they can drop. Uh, dream leaf herbs as well, and as long as like uh, the Zeroline seeds and stuff like that too. So uh, they can drop. The most I've had drop from them is 14 at a time. So a stack of dream leaf goes for like 4,000 gold on my server. So if you can get, uh, I don't know, like 5% uh, just in like one mob or more, that's good. And the stack of 200 really goes by quickly. And the higher your herb gathering skills the better you're going to be able to farm it so like i think you can increase skill for the amount of herbs of the kind that you farm so like i probably this was probably about an hour and a half of farming dream leaf in that area before i actually got the rank two but you guys get quests and stuff like that to do it so <clears throat> firstly what i do is just dream leaf that's all i do um i can uh elaborate a bit more I'll find another video clip where it's just me farming and um, you can do that so basically what I mean is like the mobs there that I showed at this area here uh, you can loot them and then you can uh, pick up their herbs so uh, that gives you a really good chance to get bind on equip epic gear so like the requires level 101 gear which is really good to put on the auction house or you can just put in your guild just to see who wants to offer for it and yeah so um the second herb that i would most likely farm is the starlight rose so this uh is in surmar see starlight rose though you actually need to get the herbalism skill for it so once you uh first start gathering it uh you'll be able to uh like you'll get it but you'll just get the dust so you'll get the starlight rose dust like i mean it's quoted as an unusable pile of dust but it still sells for a little bit on the auction house so it's not quite worthless however um what you want to do is like for every herbalism quest you get this quest where you get a sample looted from collecting the herbs and then with that sample you have to try to get 10 or 15 of that kind of herb and then you get a rank so 
for you to be able to actually get Starlight Rose, you need to get the first rank, which is like just trying to get the sample, and then you head to Dalaran, hand it in, and get it. So the way I look at it is even if you have rank 1, you can still get enough because I normally only farm until about 20 because it takes about 20 minutes. So there's probably about 4-ish herbs in one small area to get, and you'll probably get 1-ish out of that, 1 or 2. And then you can just keep moving on. And that 20 will sell for like 3,000 gold. So if you have a full stack, or the more that you have, the more gold that you're going to get. So for probably half an hour, you can make probably a stack of this, which is uh, 3,000 gold, a stack of Dreamleaf. You can probably get 20 to 30 Starlight Rose, which can be 3,000 to 4,000 gold. So that's just 7,000 in half an hour's uh, worth of time if you put it together, if you do both. Um, so what I'm saying is like if you get a full stack of Dreamleaf farming for half an hour, and then you do half an hour of Suramar farming for Starlight Rose, uh, you can probably make 7,000 gold. But then the big money maker, or the quick money maker as I like to find it, is uh, the ancient healing potions. So every time you gather a herb, um, you get these uh, Yuzeraline seeds, which can drop uh, from like zero at a time to like, I think I've gotten seven at a time. And these drop off the mobs too that you get uh, in Valshara. I forgot to mention that before. But with these uh, seeds, you can go to your crafting recipes. And based on what you do, I always do the healing potion. But you can do the mana potion too. It's just an extra seed. But you can make a stack of these. And sometimes with the proc, you can get a stack where a stack in like three... Uh, three creations. So I've had a proc before where I had uh, eight potions uh, proc from one uh, creation, which is pretty good. And I just built up on that. So a full stack on my server goes for around 600 gold. And if I do uh, the dream leaf uh, gathering for like a full stack of 200 herbs and then 30 of the starlight rose, uh, I probably have about a good stack of the seeds, so I could probably make, uh, geez, I don't know, I think I've gotten like three, uh, I think I get three stacks normally just from, not, not of the seed, but three stacks of potions from the seeds of the Starlight Rose, and then it just depends on the dream leaf. So, 600 times three, um, and then probably I guess another four stacks so uh, 2400 is a pretty good decent amount of gold in an hour um, basically this is a pretty good money maker if you want to do it um, the, I've done the math right now and the way that it turns out to be is 9200 gold per hour which I think is a pretty decent profit uh, I use it to just get WoW tokens and stuff, or just to maybe look around and buy some cool transmog for my priest. Um, however, you know, you can use it for whatever you want. You can get mounts, or you can just do whatever. So, this is personally my best guide. Uh, if you guys really enjoyed this, uh, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll try to find uh, some new uh, gold guides coming soon. Um, but uh, I will be doing a giveaway at 50 subscribers. I'm at like 15 right now. So f if I can get just another 35, I'll farm enough gold and I'll do a 100k gold giveaway. Um, however, I'll be doing it in uh, either WoW tokens or battle pets, depending on how it is at the time. So out of all my 50 subscribers, if I draw the name, uh, out of the hat then I'll let you guys know and I will get in contact with the winner and send them either the WoW tokens so this could be uh, one to two WoW tokens I'll have to decide based on the price uh, right now it's like 60k so one WoW token or uh, the type of battle pets that they can afford so if you guys are interested, uh, subscribe, and at 50 subscribers, I'll just pull the winner of the hat. But this has been uh, a gold guide from Big Arc. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Okay? Peace.